Ladies and gentlemen, here we go, and we move on into the men's heavyweight division. And back onto the right arm. International matchup with the United States of America by way of Ukraine facing Latvia. Let's introduce our athletes now, and firstly, this man. He hails originally from Ukraine and now resides in and is representing the United States of America. Welcome, Pablo Davatanya. What a man, what a man. My goodness, Pablo looking like a true beast here. We saw him just a few, maybe a month and a half ago, start off crazy fast against Saban and end up running out of gas. He has assured us all the power, the dominance is there now. He has put it all together and we'll be working on that endurance as well. And his opponent now making his way to the table needs no introduction anywhere in the world of arm wrestling. His resume, an impressive one. He is a multiple Latvian national champion multiple EAF European champion and the reigning WAF champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the MF chef, Sandris Panza Chiris. Sandris Chiris. He might be one of the greatest talents Latvia has ever produced. Very working very diligently, loves the sport to the bone, has having insane success, and I'm very happy to see him pull again on East versus West stage versus a very strong opponent in Pablo de Berian. Sandris might be looking like a smaller guy in this one, but there's a few pound difference between them. We will see. In my in my personal opinion, I think for Sandris it will be the correct pathway to victory match. Because he's good at everything, but let's see if Pablo can deny him that. Head or number? Head. Head, you Both of the guys seven. are very calm on table okay. most of the time. Over, Don't argue much, give good, fair setups and just go. Pablo, we saw him not so long ago facing Shoulder. Sabin Badulescu, having Shoulder. a great success on those first two rounds Shoulder. and then kind of dying out. Shoulder. Let's see if he has worked enough on like his that. endurance More to soldier. fix that. More. Sandris has multiple options. Wrist. In this one, Shoulder. we're going to see a quick start. Representing the United States of America. Wrist. Wrist. Said he's not the most technical arm wrestler in the world. Okay. Well, tonight. Shoulder. But Wrist. he's strong. He's very strong. Wrist. Massively powerful, Done. but. Ooh. Very technical. Look for the. Rip. No emotions on Pablo. Zero emotions. Zero emotions. Don't move. Go! Sandris gets the top row, gets the hand, gets the slip. The hand open, that's what Sandris wanted. He told me he just wants to crack that wrist open and stay there for a little bit so the rest of the rounds are easier. We know Pavlo's endurance hasn't been great and let's see if he has worked enough on it. In the strap, it should favor Pavlo a little bit more. Much harder for Sandris to get that top roll to get that hand. Also, up the down, buckle down. will be on his hand, which is a little up bit a down. disadvantage for every top roller. Both the calmest guy in Arbus League. No arguing, nothing. If one of them shows emotions, they already lost, right? That's how it looks like. So I'm going to share this. The Bedenev. The Bedenev looked rock strong on the first start, but you could see that Sandri Sheri was baiting him. And he had by far the better hand and wrist position. Much more vertical. Look at Pablo right now. It's much more different start than it was without the strap. He feels on the strap he can use it as leverage points. Let's see if Sandris doesn't get stuck in that side pressure right now. He needs to kind of do the same thing. And you can see by, by the positions of the forearm. Grip. Like, grip, guys. Pablo is almost perpendicular. Knuckles. To the table. Sandra's kicking back, a little pistol grip there, but down. can't allow 
Pablo to Don't get pull. too much height. Go! At the very oh! least, Sandris. Sandris loses the hand. Sandris loses the hand. And Pablo takes the first one. Pablo's power, unquestionable, Ray. Absolutely. And a little bit of a shot warning signs there early for Sandris. He had the presence of mind to let that go. Hopefully no damage done to the wrist and hand. He relinquished it, let it go. And you would expect... Yeah, but then you have to be very dangerous early, and he was. Most concerning there, most concerning, was that Sandris couldn't get comfortable on that setup. No, no. He was, he was giving too much of the back pressure, he was giving too much of the leverage points, and Pablo just took them all. And it's always the position when you try to top roll someone, you always can get top rolled yourself, right? And this is what happened right here. So for me, it's interesting because we talked with Sanders what is the plan, game plan if something doesn't work. And I think he will still try to work on that hand on wrist. He needs to, mate, because we've seen in the past that yeah. that's where you can take yeah. advantage. The downside for Sanders there was that he's 1-0 down and he got no bleed, no damage at all no. into the hand and wrist of Pavlo. So right now, Dubedenev, it is going perfectly. Absolutely. That's what he wants. Pavlo just wants... Quick, easy, no damage, and not get too full of blood. Uh, I don't know what time between the rounds are they doing, but it looks like Sanders is ready. Now, a little bit of background on Pablo Dubedenia. For those people who aren't familiar with this guy from his outing at King of the Table, this man is so active in North America. Very, everywhere you go, he really is. And everywhere yeah. you go, people have so much... Shoulder. Praise for this more, guy, more hold shoulder. him in such shoulder. high regard. He is ridiculously strong. A man at that weight Take who can perform one arm pull ups. One arm pull ups Rotation. with extra weight. Unbelievable. Pablo's Insane. Pablo is like, Center. you can see Center. his build out of shoulder. rock, right? Center. There's sculptures in Greece for him somewhere. I guarantee it. Looks you can see a little that. Bit like God. The, 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 yeah, look at that beard, right? Definitely. Have your eye out with that. Center. Wrist. Now, Sandri Sheris. Not as magnificent as my beard. Go! Up! Better from Sandris, but nothing, no real purchase. No, no. You do get slightly concerned for Sandris there as the strap is applied. Maybe he needs to arm wrestle on the counter a little bit more and try to create some space and back off, run into that space, go towards his own pad. Sandris is, I think, at this point, he's thinking about jumping in. He's thinking about jumping into a press because that's what he can do. That's where he surprised a lot of people. When you, because he's set up for everything is the same. It doesn't doesn't matter if he top rolls, hooks or presses. No tell. Okay. It is the okay. same. So you really don't know. But you can hit a lane where Pablo is insanely strong and if you haven't done any damage it's gonna be very hard that's my concern for him ray at this stage he needs to get some bleed into that arm some bleed into the hand and wrist and look at the thickness of pablo's hand like you can't even grip him you can't grip him like look how you, you said on the first start that he was going for that height and look again yeah. i mean can he get any higher yeah that is unbelievably high and sandris there with a little mock hit and no reaction Dubedenia. No. This is a very, very strong man. A lot of side pressure from Pablo, a lot of back pressure. I can see it right from the go. Ah. Relax, relax, bow. It's nothing. Shoulder. Rip. Way early there. Rip. Both of them. Yeah. Both of them trying to get that little edge on a start and. Grip, say, who, do you, who do you think this favors me? I mean, it's. Uh, you think I this... think Pablo. I think <laughs> Pablo. <laughs> I, gonna say he the needs, he yeah. needs this to be uh, slowed uh, down uh, as much possible. Takes we know away the trickiness, takes away the pace. Okay. Pablo, it's going at the moment. If Pablo Dubedenev had written the script, this is pretty much it. This is pretty much it. It's a tough day for Sanders, but we'll see. Can he? He's a seasoned super match puller. He's been doing this for quite some time. Go! They now, got dragged in a hook. This is interesting. Very collective, very confident. Sanders feels very good there. And oh, much more better. Much more better position. Much more better position. Who will bleed much more here? This is good. And watch the elbow of Pablo Dervedenia. Because like that is super cool. This is better for Sanders. Yeah. Get it now. Gets the pronator. Gets the pronator. Gets deeper hook. Try to bleed him out a little bit more. This is Try over, Ray. Him. This is over. But he's now doing yes. a number. I would yes. hold on to that longer, mate. Yeah. I think if you'd have been yeah. down there, you'd have been I shouting. Feel, I, feel like, I feel like 
Pablo went up and just kind of gave it away, so Santos wasn't really holding on. That was a close one. That was a much better start. We see for Sandris, uh, the hook is the better option. And I think the press at this point also is an option. Uh, we were in Arizona two weeks ago, and he's right. He said, like, he tried. He's like, top roll kind of doesn't work. With left, top roll works. With right, the press works. So this here was the plan to top roll. But as we see, it didn't work. Did, so you, uh, did you hear the call from the referee there? Alexander, as he's walking away, he said that Debedenev got a foul in a losing position. Now, irrelevant, really, because at the end of the day, what yeah. was very clear there was that Sandra oh, yeah, yeah, right. had done the work yeah. and he could have finished at any time, yeah. but he was just hanging in there. How much bleed do you feel like he put in there? I think there's a significant bleed on the arm because Pablo, like, look at Pablo. He's, like, made of stone, yeah. right? So it's very easy to get <laughs> full, and it's hot. It's lights on you. People are watching. There's a lot of stake. Adrenaline goes high, dumps, right? So we are 1-1, one, one, and I believe this is just the start of this super match. Now, one, here's one. the question, Ray. We know from prior experience, Sandris Sheris has lanes, has options. That much is evident, clearly, from what we've just seen. What has Pavlo Derbedenev got? Has he got yeah. another lane, or is he in deep water now? I think if Pavlo, because he can be brave, right? He could be brave, and if, if he feels like now Sanders will try to initiate the hook, and he gets sucked into the hook, he should lean into that hook. He has the arm strength. He definitely has the arm strength. What he doesn't have is maybe the technical positioning that Sanders did. Sanders did a great job at stopping the pronator of the Berdiano. This is why he couldn't finish the match and just holding on long enough for him to kind of open himself up. So every time you hit to the side, oh, Pablo wanted straps. Sanders said, how about no? Yeah, very interesting there. Sandris denying that. And you can see both guys. I feel still the match is up for anyone to take. Yeah, there's a de degree of confidence from both men there. Obviously, Sandris will have settled those nerves, blown away a little. I'll tell you what, Pablo's getting away with one there. That wrist is no, not even close. There was no knuckles. No knuckles. No, the wrist was king. That was. No. It's the kind of setup I love. <laughs> there we go. Let's Whoa. see. Oh, wow. hits the hook. It's oh, over. Oh, it's over. It's over. Show time for Shedis, the MF yeah, chef yeah, now. Yeah, Giannis oh, is saying, Giannis is saying, cold, cold. That cold. hurt. Pablo de Berdenia. Big reaction from the. Big reaction from what's, the what's American. Show us the referees. We need to see what referees are giving. Is it a win or is it? It's got to be a win. But uh, but I'm more concerned about Pablo. He may be done. One elbow foul. One elbow foul. So it's still one one. I feel with Pablo, it, this is close to end. I think he's in trouble. He, like, again, he has such a powerful start, but as soon as you get a position where you can stop him, that's where the problems arise. The gas tank not quite there. And, no. and, and the other thing there was he felt something he did. Not quite. Oh, horrible. <laughs> <But ever did. laughs> Brutalizing. Went, went inside and from out inside went to outside. Sanders shed his two one. Showtime MF Chef. The range of, of, of Sandris is brilliant. I yes. mean this guy will pull anywhere yeah. you want. I feel go. partial, but I think Sanders is one of those guys that's very rare in our sport who can switch up and be just as dangerous in every position. He went from full on trying to open your wrist top roll to fully pressing, then to pronating outwards and taking your hand while he's pressing. Yeah. You. I mean only a, a, a a few months ago, we saw Sandra Sheris play with Matt Mask here. Matt Mask is a dangerous oh, sorry, opponent. Sheris was all over him, put on a master class. He recently yeah, yeah. pulled No Limits Devon Larratt, a very big No Limits Devon Larratt in the Arm Wars Dark card. And after that match, interestingly, when you spoke to Devon, he said, look, this guy may not have all the top end strength that he requires for the super heavyweight division. But one thing I will say, throughout that match, while it may have looked comfortable, I can tell you, Sandra Sheris went everywhere. He threw every single angle you can possibly try in the game at me and that's what you got to admire about this guy he's Definitely. got courage there's there's guys that have their signature moves or or their best moves and you go and watch them on the stage and you kind of know what to expect if you look at Sanders during tournaments you never know where he's gonna hit he might hit a hook might be a press might be a top roll and I think that's where you are the most dangerous and this is why I think Sanders is one of the most dangerous men on the planet without question still young still growing 
listen, we saw it earlier tonight. We saw it with Rino Masic, and, and he was up here. He put on a master class. Remember when MMA was first getting going and you had guys who were specialists in their discipline, but as the game evolved, everyone got good at everything, and the elite guys were excellent at everything. That's what we're seeing in arm wrestling. I feel like, look at Pablo taking a lower hand grip. He will initiate a hook with Sanders. That's what I'm feeling. Let's see what Sanders does. Will he press or he will press straight to the pad? Yes! Oh, my God, the initiation there was off the scale. Sandra Sheris, ladies and gentlemen, that was an absolute masterclass from the Latvian. Sheris cruise control. And the Bedenev there, no answer to it, tried to drive to the side. Looking back at the match, we saw every angle covered early. It looked so good for Dubedenev. Pavlo, that power, like the drag car. Unbelievable down that first straight. Massive power. Forcing Sandri Sheris to look for something else in the Arsenal. Had no lane really in that first round via top roll. So we saw him start to change things. And that is where the damage started to happen for Sheris. He got the bite. He managed to hang up Dubedenev off the pad. And from there, the questions were asked of the gas tank of the bigger man. And late in the rounds, Sandro Sheris showed that technical spectrum that he's known for. Really impressive. Driving to the side in that last match in a horrible position for Pavlo Dubedenev. Big top roll access in that last round. And at this point, Sandro Sheris had all the lanes and the press to finish, fast, aggressive, and a violent hit. Winner, Sheris. I'm here with the winner, Sandres, the Panzer Shedes. This was the most contested match of the night, in my opinion. Right from the start, Pablo showed why he is the nightmare in USA, what people fear. Did you expect that much power from the start? Yeah, I knew he would, would be strong, and I've seen his back pressure pull-ups one arm, and that's very impressive. Uh, yeah, I know it, it, it wasn't, it wouldn't be easy, but uh, I made my adjustments in the second round and it was good. Felt like as soon as you figure out like it will be hard to top roll him, you tried the hook, you didn't try the press from the start because you might run into a wall. Was that the strategy, kind of going through different techniques? Uh, yeah, maybe. First round was a little tactical mistake. It was uh, very high and I was kind of uh, lower and I uh, couldn't really rise and do use my back pressure that well. But uh, yeah, the hook, hook is getting pretty good. Hook is getting definitely pretty good. We're seeing you again on this stage and you're winning at East versus West. What would be opponent you really want to face or maybe multiple opponents? Yeah, obviously I face, I want to face like all the best guys, Reno, uh, maybe someone else, but uh, the one guy I really want to meet is Kidrigal Ungerbaev, and uh, when that happens, I promise I'll beat him. At 105? Yes. Sanders Shedis.